Good morning, everyone. It is day two here on the island of Korong San Luan. We're staying in a place called Mapai Bay or Mapai Bay. Still haven't worked out how you pronounce it properly. And we're going to be heading now to a place called Saracen Bay on the same island. Uh, I think it's a quick boat ride, so we're just heading to the pier now. We're going to be getting the, the 8.30 boat. So we got the ticket here. It's going to be $20 overall for two people, and that's the return. So we're going to come back at 5 p.m. And we just got to wait on this pier here for the boat to arrive. It's actually kind of cloudy, so yeah, I hope it opens up during the day. Watch yesterday's video if you want to see us on this beach here. Really beautiful spot. It was a nice bumpy ride, right? Yeah, very. <laughs> you covered in salt. Yeah, because of the water. Water, yeah, splashing. Check it out. Yeah, these islands of Koh Rong are just too good. Before we enjoy the water and the beach, we're gonna go and find some spot to have breakfast, I think. We haven't even eaten yet, so yeah, we'll have breakfast and then we'll enjoy this place. And look at that water though, it's crazy. So we found a great spot to eat right on the beach. Even got some little swings over there. And what are you going to eat, Carol? Egg. Egg. How much? Four dollars. Four dollars? Yeah. Hello. Thank you. Titanic restaurant. <laughs> and I think I'm going to go for the French toast, which is $3.50 and that comes with either tea or coffee. finished breakfast just found a nice spot here with the natural shade as usual this beach really is something else a lot nicer than the beach where we're staying so the beach we're on doesn't have this white powdery sand look at that that's pretty much pure white and here is pretty much empty as well it's really laid back just like the beach we're on really not that many people here and pretty huge beach I don't even think I can even see the end it goes all the way around there so way bigger beach than where we're staying also I think this one is nicer yeah. because of the white sand yeah exactly that looks amazing and we've got quite a while here like I said uh, the boat back is at 5 p.m. so I think we got about six or seven hours to enjoy this place there is another beach that we're going to check out later so yeah we'll see how that compares to this one
shallow here as well. Been walking quite a while. Still the water's about knee height. <laughs> It'll give you a better view of the, the sand part here. So there's no big hotels or anything here. It's mainly just beach huts and stuff. That's usually the kind of stuff I like anyway. Yeah, perfect temperature, just like yesterday. to the other side of the island now we're going to be heading to the beach that i mentioned earlier it's called lazy beach and a lot of people consider it to be even better than the beach we're on back there so yeah i'm pretty excited to see it there is this trail that goes through the island it's kind of like a bit of a, a jungle trail i think it takes about 25 minutes to walk there Guys, if you come here, it might be better to wear trainers. This is like boiling hot right now, <laughs> even with sandals. Uh. <laughs> there was a sign saying, "Don't come barefoot," right? Yeah, the, I don't think you no, will be able to walk. Yeah, it, it would be impossible to walk on that barefoot. Anyway, we're here now. So this is it, Lazy Beach. Tiny little beach, check it out. Really cool. Small one, right? Yeah. Gonna head that way? Uh-huh. You can see there's some huts here as well. Maybe you can stay here, I don't know. I know there's a resident area here. All right, we're gonna go next to the trash cans where we belong. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's nicer than the other beach. The other beach had wider sand and clearer water, but here is more like a secluded beach, I guess. So there isn't really anything here at all and pretty much no people. It's in like a little bay, so yeah, a really beautiful spot as well. Anyway, I need to get in the water ASAP because that trail <laughs> kind of took it out of me. Sweating a lot.
so the waves are definitely a bit choppier on uh, this side, pretty fun. And I'm actually surprised by how um, empty Koh Rong has been so far, this, this island anyway. I thought it'd be busier because it's peak season and yeah, this place is so beautiful. Not like Thailand where there's some busy beaches and you kind of got to go looking, go searching for the emptier spots. Here pretty much everywhere is empty so far. And tomorrow we're going to be heading to Koh Rong, the main island. I think that's going to be busier, we'll see. Maybe it'll be relaxed like this. A few people that we spoke to said it's still uh, pretty laid back, so yeah, that should be good. And we've got about three hours here now. I'm not really going to film that much more. I've kind of already shown quite a bit of it. I'll probably get the drone out though, why not, since I got so long. So yeah, probably some drone shots coming next once again. Chilling. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> yeah, so we ended up coming back to Saracen Bay. There's no way that beach compares to this place. This place is completely unreal. So calm now as well. Like we're just so peaceful here. And yeah, it ended up being completely sunny. So, so great weather. So like I said uh, earlier, tomorrow we're going to be heading to Koh Rong, the main island. I think there's probably going to be beaches this level there as well. So. Yeah, it's just going to be awesome heading there as well. So many awesome islands around here, I guess, and beaches. I'll just give you some final shots of this place here. It really, it's just too beautiful around here. So as always, just thanks for watching. Drop a like on this video to help support us. Follow us on Instagram if you'd like to see where we're traveling in real time. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. And we'll see you in the next one.